Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is my undead hogwall army, which is completely bonkers, but it's been working amazingly well uh, in FCs. And I am going to try it in Legends today for a laugh. It won't be making an appearance in CWL. Seven loads, all obviously, complete army of hogs, uh, heroes for funneling. Um, that's not actually the CC I used here. I just use my heroes to follow one side and make their way specifically to one side to, to one side of the base into the queen. Set down some skellies first to distract defences, and then just a wall of hogs. A wall of hogs followed by another wall of hogs. More skellies out in front of those hogs uh, to distract key defences. I think it's actually probably better distracting the scatter shots away from the incoming troops. It's a common mistake for people to put the skellies on the scatters. They're not going to hit them. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Because uh, they're within their, uh, within their reticule. Uh, Beers here has got um, at least one multi-target Inferno, if I remember rightly. Um, this, this, this attack will not work if a base has got three multis. just not going to happen. If it's got singles, I can absolutely crush it. Using a log launcher to weaken the town hall, um, weaken the town hall, let the hogs target it. Did do variations of this comp by dropping a scaly skull and bringing uh, an EQ to do just that, um, but it's working so much better if the town hall is on the far side of the base. Um, you can see that I've got a dragon and some balloons here. Um, yeah, not necessarily sure you would do. Why would you do that? You wouldn't do that in reality. That's why in that uh, screenshot of the army comp, I've got Yeti. A multi-purpose CC, you can do various things. I'll be bringing a slammer with me, be bringing a wrecker or a log launcher, all depending on the base, but you know, that is crushed. That base is gone. Um, it's that simple. <laughs> uh, we'll be coming back, we'll be doing this again. Thank you for watching.